Hey, this is Jason Johnston, instructional designer here at the College of Social Work, University of Kentucky. And I'm just going to give you a short tutorial on how to start Zoom as a student. Best way to test this out is to go to zoom.us slash test. And it's a good idea to test this out before you have to enter your first class. You don't want to be fumbling over your technology the first day of Zoom class. You want to be ready to go and make sure that whatever device you're using is able to Zoom. So here you put in your name, put in any email address at this point, click on join. And it's going to say, if nothing prompts from browser, download and run Zoom. So you should get a little box that comes up first time that says, launch application come up down here and if that does not come up then you can click on there which will download application then you can run and it will set up zoom for the first time and then it will automatically pull you into zoom and you'll have this dialog box right up at the front end and it will say join audio conference by computer you can also test your computer mic and speakers. This is not a bad thing to do. Make sure that especially your mic is working. And um, join audio conference by computer. And now that I am joined in here to this Zoom meeting, I will show you a few options here in the Zoom meeting window. Of course, if a meeting had already been started, you will have uh, other options or other people available here under participants. You can always click on there to see who else is part of the meeting. You can, on the bottom left, you can mute yourself, which is not a bad idea. You're going to be able to hear me still because I'm recording through, but in terms of the conference, you can uh, mute yourself so that you, if you are a participator, you can listen in, but you don't hear your sounds all the time. You can also stop your video at any time and just bring up your name button here so invite other people by email or by phone and so on I talked about the participants if you wanted to share the screen you can also pull up a chat window if the instructor has this enabled you can chat with people over on the right hand side and then if you have started the zoom meeting then you have a record button it's pretty easy to get around here, uh, you may have an instructor that will change the way that the meeting window looks um, and and might ask you to do things like, uh, like raise a hand over here, which uh, allows a professor, instructor to see who is listening and so on. And may have you do other things through using Zoom, but that's basically it. It works for quite a number of people at one time. One final note, when you begin the class and your instructor wants to hold a Zoom meeting, you will get a link either through an email or through Canvas or both. All you need to do is follow that link and the instructions that I have here, and you should be able to Zoom in with your class at the appointed time. Just make sure that your technology is ready to go beforehand and test it out so that you can be Zooming into your class in no time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me.